Hi, and welcome to How Shit Works, where we show you how everyday objects function. I'm Julian, and with me is the always cool Steve, baby. But I'm afraid I got bad news about that romantic countryside drive we were going to take. The car battery's dead. Well, I've got just the thing to fix it, and that's what we'll be talking about today. Jumper cables. Jumper cables are made of insulated steel threads with rubber-coated handles. The clamps on the cable can be affixed to your car battery, which operates on a microplanar existence, which means that contained within its plastic casing is a universe filled with as much matter as our own. Now, how much matter is in our universe? Imagine as much matter as you can. Now, multiply that number by infinity. Now multiply that number by 10, then subtract one. That total is only half of two times the matter in our universe. That's a big number. The matter in the car battery is represented as bosonic strings, which pop in and out of their micro dimension. These strings are incredibly volatile, but are kept in balance by good and evil forces, represented by the plus and minus sign on the top of the battery. The positive sign, created by Alessandro Volton, was inspired by the cross of the late Jesus Christ. And the negative sign was inspired by the wagging index finger of Satan. Positive forces are made of densely packed protoneurons, believed to have originated in heaven, while negative forces are made of dark metamatter formed from naughty imploding stars. The scientists that build your car battery must meet rigorous specifications to create a battery that is functional, yet also stable. If that balance were ever to be misconfigured, it could create a black hole that would tear apart the space-time fabric around it. If you've ever wondered why your mechanic charges so much, that's why. You have to be careful to properly align your jumper cables, because if you connect even one handle to the wrong side... Ah! 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 